In this video, we're going to take a look at the Corkboard website. It's a great collaborative tool for you and your students. The way it works is you first come to the Corkboard site, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a Corkboard with a free account. I'm going to click right over here and create one now. And what you'll see over here is a blank Corkboard. To create a new note, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to click on the Corkboard, and I'm going to type in my note. And there you go. If I want to change the color of the note, I can click on this little paper here. If I want to center the note on the screen, I can click on this. And if I want to throw the note in the trash, I can click on the trash can. If I want to get rid of this toolbar over here, what I can do is click right on these lines, and it will get rid of the toolbar. I can then take my note with the mouse and move it around anywhere on the screen. If I'd like to make my note bigger or smaller, I can click right in the corner and drag this up and down whatever I'd like to do. Another neat feature is that you can actually put in images from the web on your corkboard and then put notes on top of those. I'll show you a quick example. To show you how that works, I'm going to go over to my tab over here and I'm on Google Images and I've searched for a car. Now in order to put the car on the corkboard, what I need to do is actually click on the image and it brings me over to the site with the image. This part is important. What I need to do is right click on the image and click on copy image URL. In other words, I need the address of that specific image. I'm going to go back to my corkboard. I'm going to click on the screen to create a new note. And then I'm simply going to right click and paste in the address of the car. There you go. I now have a note with the Google image. Once my corkboard becomes full of notes, in order to navigate around, you can click up here in the left-hand corner. There's a zoom lever. Or you can click down here, and you get a little navigation box that you can click and drag and move around the whole corkboard. Now, in order to share this corkboard with your students, what you need to do is share the URL. The URL is found right over here, but often it's a very long and strange URL. You want to make that something more easier for your students to type into their computers, something in plain English. So my little trick that I like to do is to select the URL over here, right-click and copy it, and use a tool called TinyURL. I'm going to go over to the TinyURL website. I have it in a tab here. This is a site I've talked about on the blog before, which essentially allows you to take long, complicated addresses and make them something more manageable, something easy to type in. I'm going to right-click and paste, so I have my corkboard address in there, and then I'm going to give it something more easy for my students to type in. So how about AviBlog Corkboard. Next, I click on Make Tiny URL. And next, what I can do with that is take this URL and give it to my students verbally or even write it down on the chalkboard so it's easy for them to remember and there's less of a chance that they'll make any mistakes when they're writing it down. 